over $1.50 Emmett item stolen. A businessman's home in Burbis was burglarized while he was overseas, resulting in over $1 million in items being stolen. The man, a remigrant, is calling on the police to conduct a better investigation into the matter. Lohan Ramdas said his home was burglarized while he was away in China and because of coal restrictions there, he did not learn about the incident until days later. The 68-year-old businessman had left his 3rd Street, South Hampshire Village, Quarantine, Burbis home on February 15 after securing it. While in Asia, he received a message stating that someone had broken into his home. On April 30, he arrived in Guyana. He went immediately to the police even before going to the house. I came in at 3 o'clock in the morning. I say I would report it to the police first before I open the door. So when the police come and we open the door, they took a couple pictures. I had some information as to where some of the stuff was. I got the police to go and they picked up the refrigerator and carried it to the station and lodged it. He said the police did not arrest the person in whose house the stolen article was found. My brother had reported it a couple days before I got there and when I went to the Albion police station, they say no detective was there. I don't think the police are doing enough to address the problem. I think that when they carried the fridge, they were supposed to carry the lady and lock she up. According to Ramdas, more than $1.5 million in items were removed from his home. He said it was his brother who discovered that the building was burglarized when he visited to cut the grass. Ramdas added that he was told that there was an opening in the back fence and that the locks to the door had been forcefully wrenched out. In microwave valued $78,500 a quantity of hollow blocks mold valued $90,000 an electrical trimmer valued $50,000 along with a stove. 60 pairs of footwear, 85 polo t-shirts, 22 dress shirts, a music box, and two dozen plates are on the list of items missing. The list also includes an electric saw and fan, a stove, four cellular phones, and a quantity of car parts all totaling more than $1.5 million. I know I can't retrieve what I lost. It is more than $1.5 million. Thieves don't get that kind of money. Maybe a lot of the things are already sold. One lady is willing to give evidence that she saw them carrying my fridge across to that house. This information, he said, has already been given on to the police. I am looking for them to go to jail. I know where they live. They are not in custody as yet. I feel hurt because they took my fridge from that house and carried it to the station and they did not carry anybody with them, the businessman said. Ramdas lived in China for 16 years and returned to Guyana some two years ago to open his business. He runs a block-making operation as well as other business ventures. The businessman says he is disappointed in the police's response and is calling for more responsible action from the law enforcement officials.